What's up everyone, Tyler Medeiros here and welcome to Tyler Medeiros TV. For those of you who are not subscribed, you can subscribe down below so you don't miss a video and for those of you that are, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the secrets of the Golden Gate Bridge. But quickly before we do, if you're not following me on my social media like Instagram and Twitter, go ahead and do that now. You can follow me on Instagram at The Real Tyler Medeiros and on Twitter at Tyler Medeiros. Also on another note, quickly before we get into today's video, I want to give you guys a little bit of a trigger warning. In today's video, we're going to be talking about ghosts and suicides. So if that's something that triggers you, I recommend that you do not continue watching this video. But now that that's all out of the way, let's get into today's video. And in today's video, we're talking about the secrets of the Golden Gate Bridge. Now I'm sure a lot of you know what the Golden Gate Bridge is, but for those of you that don't, this is the Golden Gate Bridge. The Golden Gate Bridge is located in San Francisco and it connects to Marin County, California. The Golden Gate Bridge is 90 feet wide and 1.7 miles long. The distance between the two towers are 4,200 feet, making it the longest suspension bridge until 1981. The towers of the bridge stand at 746 feet, making it the tallest bridge until 1993. But the Golden Gate Bridge wasn't always there. After decades of citizens wanting to connect San Francisco and Marin County, California, they finally got their wish. San Francisco Bay formed a 50 mile long barrier to highway traffic in the San Francisco area. And the entrance from the sea, known as the Golden Gate, separated the growing city on the south from the lightly populated and excellent recreation areas of Marin County. While a bridge was an obvious need, it was not an obvious possibility. The challenge was not to bridge a river or a valley, but an arm of the ocean. The proposed bridge was this one, impressive in its simplicity, modern in its concept. The center span from tower to tower would be 4,200 feet long, the longest ever attempted in that time. The side spans would each be 1,125 feet long. The roadway would be some 250 feet above the choppy waters of the bay. An engineer by the name of Michael Shaughnessy was appointed to find someone who could build the bridge at a reasonable cost. The person Michael found was a Chicago-based engineer that goes by the name Joseph Strauss, and he was known for building drawbridges. The Chicago-based engineer Joseph Strauss thought he could build the bridge for 25 to 30 million dollars. After Joseph submitted his sketches in 1921, he then had to convince the North End that the bridge would be built in their benefit. The towers of the bridge were finished in 1935, where at that point the workers had to extend the cables the length of the bridge. San Francisco Tower is completed by late June, 104 days ahead of schedule. On November 11th, 1935, the task of spinning the two great cables is begun. From then on, the Golden Gate is steadily bridged wire by wire. The workmen of the cable contractor stitch the north and south shores together with 80,000 miles of wire. Each wire measures just under one-fifth of an inch in diameter, slightly smaller than a lead pencil. Spinning carriages 
shuttle from Anchorage to Midspan, laying out as many as six wires on each trip. approximately as much as each tower. The wires, 27,572 of them per cable, build up to a compacted cable slightly over three feet in diameter. Later, as the roadway takes shape, the cables will be wrapped with galvanized wire and painted to protect them against the elements. The crew that was building the bridge faced many hazardous conditions. But throughout a four year span, the bridge only seen one casualty. Now there was a safety support net placed underneath where the workers were working, just in case anyone lost their footing, it would catch them. As the roadway moves outward from each tower, a manila rope safety net is introduced. Assembled first at water level, the net and its frame are lifted to position beneath the span. As erection proceeds, additional sections of net will be positioned, always in advance of the workmen. Eventually, the net will extend the entire length of the bridge. Also, the net reaches some 10 feet beyond the width of the span on each side. The safety net managed to save 19 lives until 1937 when a scaffold fell through the net, tearing it and causing the death of 10 workers. Something you may not know about the Golden Gate Bridge area is that in 1853, an SS Tennessee ship sank to the bottom of the bay. Now the reason this ship sank to the bottom of the bay is because it got caught in the notorious Golden Gate Current. In November 1942, crew members aboard the USS Kennison found themselves in shock when they found themselves staring directly at the SS Tennessee. Now the location that this sighting took place was in the Golden Gate area. Now if it's not weird enough that they seen a ghost ship, the ship actually left awake in the water, but it didn't show up on the USS Kennison's radar. Since the sighting of the SS Tennessee in 1942, many people have said that they've seen ghostly ships heading towards the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, are the ghosts of those captains and crews still sailing the waters? On April 19th in 1937, the roadway was open, and that same year on May 27th, the bridge was officially open to pedestrians. Five years of work, the San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge is completed. The world's longest single span suspension bridge that cost over seven million pounds. San Francisco's mayor cuts through the silver chain with a blow lamp, and from each end of the bridge, the motorcade speeds on to meet in the center and symbolize the completion of a great engineering achievement. Now this is where the story of the Golden Gate Bridge gets a little bit dark. Since 1937, when the Golden Gate Bridge was opened, it has been the location of more than 1,500 suicides. Over time, they have tried to prevent any further suicides by closing the walkway at 6.30 p.m. and also having officers that patrol the bridge. But if you think the deaths that occurred at the bridge are the only things that make the bridge haunted, think again. In 2014, a ship graveyard was found just west of the bridge. Now, not only can the bridge be haunted by the people that have died there, but it could also be haunted by the captains and crew that were lost at sea near the bridge. Now, people have said that on dark, foggy nights, they can see the lost souls roaming around the bridge looking for their next victim. Witnesses have also said that they could hear ghostly screams and even an overwhelming energy drawing them to the side of the bridge. Now, with that being said, I don't necessarily think it's the living that they should be worried about, but the dark spirits that lurk the bridge at night. Now, with the multiple tragedies that have happened at the Golden Gate Bridge, 
I think it's bound to be haunted. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I love bringing you guys new and interesting videos. So if you guys enjoyed it, give it a nice big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And let me know what you think of this video down below in the comments. And of course, I wanna thank you guys so much for all the love support that you guys continuously give me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.